and welcome back to my channel and today's video I wanted to film a what's in my bag I had this video requested a couple times and this is with this bag specifically and so I've been using this bag for a couple weeks probably and I wanted to film this video so I could clean it out and put it away and then switch out to my new bag because I cannot wait to use it and this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 25 and I've been wearing it actually on the two straps recently like on my shoulder and I've really been enjoying it. It is really comfy to wear and I love it and I have no idea what's in here but I know there's a lot of garbage in there so hopefully that'll be interesting because I find people's bags that have a lot of junk in there to be more interesting like when I watch the videos so hopefully you'll enjoy that and let's get into it. Okay so the first thing is I have a receipt for some groceries. And then I have a empty bottle of Pellegrino because everybody needs to carry around an empty bottle of water that needs to be thrown away, right? Then I have my little pouch. This is the Rebecca Minkoff pouch. And I usually put cash in there, but as you can see, I'm carrying around an empty pouch. And I have my sunglasses. And these are the purple version, I don't want to blind you. They're like the mirrored aviators. They're polarized because I only wear polarized glasses and it's so hard to find polarized glasses out there in the world. It's impossible. What is this? Oh, these are like Nordstrom. Where's my address? Like my address is everywhere. Like Nordstrom return thingies. Hopefully that didn't show you my address for that. Let's see. Because I have to do some returns because we're at the mall. I have a gas fill-up receipt. I have a sample of perfume. This is the Rue de Chanel. I think that was with the Nordstrom. Cause I got so, I got a, a couple of Louboutin lipsticks to try, and they smell so strong that I just returned them without even trying them because I got really sensitive to scents. And again, it's so hard to find lip products that don't have a really strong smell. And I find that. A lot of like high-end lipsticks like Chanel, Dior, um, Burberry, Gucci, Louboutin, like they all have a very strong smell, I guess to smell nice, but it doesn't smell nice to me. I have another grocery receipt and another grocery receipt for strawberries and stuff. Kale. And I have another perfume. What is this? This is says product candy. Ooh, I love this one. So here's another sample. Just keep that hair up with my nails so pretty. I love product candy. Then I have my card case and this is from Kate Spade and it's so glittery and the rose gold color was so popular but I love the blue because it reminds me of the ocean. I have a bank deposit receipt. I have a lipstick. And this is the Revlon Lip Butter and Cherry Tart. I don't even know if they make these anymore. This is so old, but I love it. Like I love sheer red colors and like sheer berry colors. Basically just like sheer lipsticks, I guess. I have my Louis Vuitton Clay and I have extra cards in there. Like a bunch of extra cards because I carry three cards in here. I carry my two credit cards and my ID in the middle one and then I have all my like other cards in there so what's next oh I have perfume oh, that smells good so. hmm. it smells yummy this is the Hermes Santal Masoya I'm trying to like show you the spelling because this smells so good this smells like an expensive store to me like it smells like a luxurious, relaxing, like really nice store. I don't know why, but it smells like good quality, like fabric. It smells really good. And you can only get these at Hermes, unfortunately. And yeah, they have like those like travel, I think they're called the Hermesense colognes or something. It doesn't say on here, but you can get like, yeah, it's the Hermesense collection. You can get, like, there's like, I don't know, 20 different scents and you can get like a Caffery of four, and they smell so good. Let's see, I have another grocery receipt. As you can see, I 
go grocery shopping a lot because I don't like to buy in bulk and I just end up going a lot. I have another gas receipt and plus this is like two weeks worth because I buy all produce fresh. I don't buy, um, what is that word? Pre-packaged foods, I guess. Here's kale. I bought kale. And Costco receipt for a bunch of milk. Because I make buttermilk and drink a lot of coffee, so. There's a drop-off UPS receipt for a return I'm doing. Another bank deposit receipt. Another Costco receipt for more milk. We have a, a withdrawal thingy. Let's see, have another grocery receipt. <laughs> Dang. Like, you should see the pattern cards. I'm gonna show you after. A hairband. That's just the color of my hair. Let's see. I have a random paper clip because everybody needs a paper clip. Have gum. Um, another Costco receipt. Oh, I got tuna. I was making sushi. And another giant receipt of produce. And we have my dust pouch with the third middle part of the strap for the pack. And that is so far it. And then I have this little thing. And my phone and my keys are not in here because I take them out. Like I have a little basket when I, where I put my keys and stuff when I come home. So what's this? Another piece of paper. It's like a sh shipping receipt. I have my silver coin. I have it pretty much in every single one of my bags. I have sanitizing wipes. I have another grocery receipt. What's this? Mm, it's Nordstrom return receipts for the returns I was doing. I have a $20 bill and it's in there and it's not in the pouch and so I'm carrying the pouch for no reason and I have my money just lying around. Okay, not good. And last but not least is my Nordstrom rack receipt. I got some shoes. And I think, yeah, that's it. So as you can see, I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. I just carry a lot of garbage with me, apparently. Let me show you. Like, look at that. Like, look at that, that's crazy. Okay. So that's gonna go in the trash and I can now switch into my beautiful, beautiful Dolce Gabbana bag and test it out and see how I like it and thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day. Bye!